Welcome. In this video, we will show you how to build a model lesson in Canopy. As you can see, the creator's dashboard makes a variety of different tools available. Generally speaking, we recommend that each lesson include two to three ways for learners to engage with content and two to three ways for learners to demonstrate their understanding. Providing multiple ways to both engage and demonstrate learning will help make sure learners have a meaningful learning experience. Let's take a look at what this could look like. We'll be making a lesson about using Canopy in this example. We'll start by adding some text that describes the themes or objectives for the lesson. Once we add the text, we can save the content block. And once it's saved, we can click here to attach audio. I like to attach audio to these welcome messages because hearing a person's voice can help learners feel more comfortable and motivated. Next, let's add a short Google Slides presentation. We can do that here by clicking the Google Drive icon and choosing to create presentation. To keep learners engaged, we recommend keeping presentations short. If there's a lot of material to cover, you can use several short presentations and add engagement questions in between them. Again, we can add audio here as well. This is especially nice for presentations because it allows people to listen to you walk them through the slides, even if they're learning in a self-paced environment. Next, I'm going to add a poll question. I'm choosing the poll option because I want to engage learners, but I do not want to ask a question that has a definite right or wrong answer at this point. Next, I will add a video. There are several options inside the video content block. We can upload, record a video of ourselves, record a screencast. For now, we will just embed a YouTube video. Here, I paste the link and click enter. I am also able to add questions to this video. In this case, I will add a basic multiple choice question to make sure people are paying attention. Now I wanna mix up the type of thinking the learner is doing, so I will add an editable PDF that aligns with the video and presentation. I will also write out some directions for how to engage with this PDF and then drag these directions to where they should be. Now I'll add a discussion thread because learning is more powerful when there is a social dynamic to it. I want people to reply to each other, so I will set the required replies here to two. I also want to make sure that the initial posts and replies meet certain standards, so after I save this, I'm going to attach a rubric here. In this case, I already have a discussion rubric uploaded, so I just need to attach it. Finally, I will end the lesson with an audio response question. These questions are incredibly effective for learning because it prompts learners to actually verbalize what they have learned. This activates more of the brain and helps ensure the learning will be encoded into long-term memory. Now we can click here to preview the lesson we created. We see our lesson allows learners to engage with content through text, a presentation, audio, a poll question, a video, and a PDF. They also have multiple opportunities to demonstrate their learning with a multiple choice question, PDF annotation, a discussion, and an audio response question. This mix of engagement opportunities ensures that the lesson will engage the learner in meaningful thought and will have a lasting impact. To add another lesson, we just collapse this back into the lesson bar and click here. I hope you found this video useful. To learn more about Canopy, visit us at canopyeducation.com or check out these videos here.